Hello everyone and welcome back to another review. So today for the first time ever I will be reviewing not a movie, not a season of a show, but an entire series. So today I'll be reviewing Downton Abbey the series, not the movie the series. So this review won't have any spoilers, it'll be a pretty quick and short review of the entire series of Downton Abbey. So I recently watched the entire series before the movie. You know, it took a few episodes to get into and then it started getting interesting. You started learning all the characters because there's about close to 20 main characters and they, you know, more characters are added as the show goes on. So the show, it has a lot of different genres. The show that has the most similar genres, at least that comes to mind, is This Is Us. That's just a show that I feel like can be, it can be compared to that I watch anyways because it has comedy, it has drama, it has romance. It has intense moments, and it has um, nice, sweet moments, also very serious moments. It also has a very large cast and a lot going on. If you haven't seen it, make sure you watch it. Obviously, you should before the movie, but um, the characters, you know, it's, it's a very interesting show with people of the upper highest class and then of lower or middle class, I guess somewhere there. Um, and you've got the people, the workers of the house, and then you have the people who live in the house and just all the things that go on within it. The show, it's obviously over dramatic at times as any show can be, but it also has some things that I've never really seen before in shows. And I think it does a really good job at portraying certain situations. There's definitely some of the best, I think, relationships I've ever seen in a series in this show. Some of the sweetest things. Some of the relationships kind of quickly become a thing, while others take years and seasons to develop. I definitely think it's a show you should watch. Just don't go in thinking it's just the sweet show because there's definitely moments that are very intense. It takes um, about at least a few episodes to get into and then after that you might need a few more to be completely hooked. But I'd say by the end of season one I was pretty sure I'd watch the rest of the show. I think the show gets better as it goes along as you get more interested in the characters and such. It can be slow at times but you just gotta get through it and I think you know as the show gets to its end and you're interested in the characters and the plot lines you really you know, you're, you're paying attention. And by season six, I was pretty much, <laughs> by the final season, I was good. And it definitely had some 10 out of 10 moments, but overall, you know, it started at kind of seven-ish, eight for me, but it slowly got better. Definitely some 10 out of 10 moments, but I think I'd give it a, a B plus. You know, the show, like I said, it has some moments that are slow and not very interesting, but then it had some excellent moments. So with that, I think I'd give the series as a whole a B plus. So make sure you check out Downton Abbey the series. The complete series is available on Amazon Prime. I'm sure you could buy it a, a bunch of other places as well. So make sure you check that out uh, before you watch the movie and if you have already seen Downton Abbey make sure you check out my spoiler review of the complete series coming soon and then my review of the movie coming soon. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and God bless.